Yo, namaste. Mera naam MC Caroline hai. Japani rap pa hun. Today, I will watch the video. The title is What Indian Thinks of the U.S. This is interesting theme. I guess uh, Indian people answer uh, America is a great place because they have there are so many opportunities. Um, there are so many Indian CEO like Google, like uh, Coca Cola, like the Pepsi, or like that. So many. Then so I guess many Indian people answer the good things. Maybe. Mm, I can't guess that they say the bad answer. Uh, for me, America is the country that I admire. But for Japanese, we should not forget that they have done the many terrible things in World War II, including the dropping atomic, atomic the bomb like that. Mm. So it is complicated. Uh, we are India and Japanese, same Asian. I, I'm really excited to watch. Okay, let's watch. Hey everybody, it's Monique from Asian Boss. America has been recognized as a leading global superpower for decades, but more nuanced global perspectives on America often go unnoticed. Given that US President Donald Trump has spoken very highly of Indian Prime Minister Modi, we thought it'd be interesting to hear what everyday Indians think about Trump and about America in general. So let's turn it over to our Asian Boss reporter in New Delhi to hear what people have to say. What is your current impression of the United States? The first word that pops out is definitely Trump. <laughs> and a yeah. not so free country and really uh, racist. Really? The first thing is Donald Trump. Uh, and second thing is America is like a, a superpower. superpower. America has hegemony in the world. I think the United States wow. does a really good job at uh, giving their citizens uh, freedom. Yeah, freedom. Uh, it's good but it creates a very volatile culture. Actually, it's a good country to visit and uh, as well as for future, like people of India, we can go there and have a better mm -hmm. life. And moreover, it's like a, you know, cultural, glo culturally globalized country. Everybody like, wants Everybody to go wants and settle to go wow. in yeah. America, so yeah. In general, what's your impression of Americans? You know, they like something in their life. It means they don't do like things ki hame nahi karna hai jyada soch nahi hai they live their life actually. i see americans as a bit of the show of people they have their own world and they are very proudy and they think that there's no one above them <laughs> i find that uh, some people they get really racist uh, against indians take wow. uh, the shahrukh khan uh, case into yeah. consideration like every time he goes to visit America the policemen always stop him just because he's a Muslim so I think the racism is a, a big problem in America mm, racism like they are more problem. open to you know talking to different kind of people and you know from other races and countries but like the white minority it's like it's that minority is a little yeah. orthodox in orthodox. their things, thinking they feel as if you know all the Indians or the other people they're taking away their jobs and everything what does American accent sound like to you? Uh, really you do have to tell it to you do I? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something about the American accent okay, uh, okay. it's very different but uh, you know the uh, English accent is quite classier. classier. British is better. Why do you think British accent is better? It's compared to uh, easily to understand. Uh -huh. I'm it more is of so a interesting. Fan of a British, British accent. accent yeah. Yeah. It, it sounds more classy. There are a lot of accents I would prefer over oh. their way of speaking the language. Do you get the impression that the US is welcoming towards visitors and immigrants? Yes, quite frankly, they have been good to visitors uh, in spite of that 9 11 issue. After that, there have been security issues with them, but that is okay, it's their country, they have every right to do so. It really depends on where you are. A lot of my friends, they've gone to the US, and some of them, um, they don't face difficulties at all, while others, um, like they're facing racism on a day-to-day -day basis. A friend of mine, he's, uh, he's in, he was in uh, Wake Forest, and um, he faced racism, racism on a day-to-day -day basis. Like they'd, they'd make fun of him, they'd, they'd tell him he smells of curry and stuff. Uh, my younger brother also has had certain instances in school where being an Indian, he's not exactly faced racism that would like scar him. But yeah, there have been instances of very mild racism, but it's racism nonetheless. Racism is racism That's nonetheless. basically because the white minority has that kind of superiority, superiority complex, complex inside yeah. them.
So yeah. we're a we're like an in, uh, an inferior class yeah, yeah. according to them. So uh, what was the latest news that you saw from America? So the gun if I, gun uh, there's been uh, gun riots going on yeah. in US, killing of students in schools and illegal hitings everywhere. It's quite scary, but I think uh, we have terrorist attacks in India and there is mass shooting in America and both are equal, I think. Being uh, away, the most powerful nation in the world, I think that is not everyone expects from that country. Mm. Heartbreaking, actually. Exactly. It's disappointing from a country like that to hear such news. Most of the mass shootings have been done by the white. The white. Yeah. White oh. teenage women, yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not the other so I think there's something about their bringing up yeah. over there, the way you know they are accustomed in their heads. Sometimes like, you know, they are in Japan, it happens. People. Can you imagine all these mass shootings happening in India? If by uh, any uh, chance no, Japan, were a lot were little less, you know, stringent than this. There would have been like mass killings every other Everywhere. day, every other yeah. day. I think we would have surpassed the US in these, these kind of killings, <laughs> yeah. the kind of people, the kind of mentality we have there, yeah, the kind yeah. of, you know, cultural and religious riots we have every second yeah, day. Yeah. How do you feel about the US President Donald Trump? Donald Trump as a politician, I don't know much. But his personal life is so shown in the media that he does some prostitutes uske against you. Karti hai, then, then I don't like him at all. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Yeah, he's like really racist. And I don't like his sexist comments either. Look at his you know, speeches and the way he talks to women specifically. Ah, he treats women like yes, commodities, yes, like yes, you know, yes, an accessory yes, yes. to his power or something. He's the United States Modi ji. I think they're very wow. similar. Uh, not very similar, but... Wow. Um, they have uh, a lot of things in common. Donald oh. Trump has actually spoken very highly of our Prime Minister Modi really? and the US-India relationship. Why do you think Trump has spoken so highly of him? And they have this perception of India that we're not even like threatening. So maybe like he's got this good positive reaction towards Indians. It's because they have the same political ideology. What sort of relationship would you like to see between India and America? Oh, I would like to see a good relationship because like, they're like this powerhouse. No one wants to mess with. You take an example of a bully. Like You want to be, even though it's a bad thing, but you want to be in his good side, so you're, like, you're not the target. Yeah, US if, is the, the if Trump giant. has said something good about us, they probably have some yeah. underlying uh, yeah, you know, I, benefit in yeah, that. Yeah, that's what. But anyway, and like India is can... a growing economy. Yeah. We offer a lot of opportunities. And, you know, CEO of Google is in India. Yes. We are like literally, you know, yeah. taking those kind of companies forward. You, nobody can deny the fact that Indians are the people who are going everywhere. I mean, aren't Americans mostly pissed at Indians because we go over there and take all their exactly. jobs? Exactly. <laughs> So if you don't speak highly of us and if you don't literally give us the undue they credit, do. they do I have the lot. US is going to come down and it's, it's going to be down yeah. for the US. It's become a super power and a huge and big round of applause goes to us. Yeah. There you have it, everybody. For the record, it took our reporter in New Delhi five hours five to get hours. 11 people to interview with us. People. So special thanks to our reporter and all our interviewees for sharing their honest opinions. It is interesting. But I had expected more favorable opinion toward the U.S. But was surprised to find that they were different. I had never felt discrimination and racism in the U.S. I think because I was in the New York, maybe it is, and the Indian opinion of America was like uh, listening to my European friends' opinion of America. And it was interesting. What do you think? Let me know your opinion in the comment, please. Okay, and you know, I have a music channel. Please subscribe and you can watch my music video like that. So, thank you for watching my video. Daniel and Kiliminenge. Okyo生まれヒップホップ育ち